the first two cohorts of those early African Americans and African Caribbean U.S. folk who um, had a relationship with anthropology, were trained in anthropology, and at least most of them got degrees in anthropology from the most prestigious institutions where there were graduate programs. Yet, most of them, most of you, have never heard of. And I must admit, I'm a student of St. Clair Drake, and when I went to Stanford, I didn't go there for him because I didn't know who he was. And my advisor, a very prominent feminist anthropologist, couldn't tell me anything about him. But Shelley Rosaldo was there. Bridget O'Loughlin, there were other people who were the magnets. But when I got there and met St. Clair Drake, ha! Ah, you know, I mean, it, cha it changed my life and the way I see the world. Um, but I mentioned Drake because Drake is someone who introduced me. Um, I mean, not, I mean, I had read Souls, I had read things like that, but I'm saying he gave me a particular take on Du Bois. And I realized that he and his mentor, Allison Davis, were profoundly shaped by the man that they refer to as Dr. Du Bois. I mean, they didn't say W.B. Du Bois or Du Bois. It was Dr. Du Bois. 